Welcome. Uh, in today's session, I'm going to talk about uh, data densification in Tableau to draw curve lines. Data densification is basically a technique to add additional points in your data for drawings, and we use these additional points to draw in Tableau. For example, here I have two rows of data, point A and point B, with the x, y coordinates, and if we draw this in Tableau, it creates a straight line. So what we are trying to achieve is we want to instead of drawing and drawing a straight line, we want to draw a curve line like this. So before that going, uh, let's understand what is data densification. As you can see, instead of drawing a uh, line from uh, one point to another, we are going through our densified points. So since Tableau by default creates a straight line, so we are adding enough additional data points so that it connects to each other and uh, if we have a function then it creates a curve like this so before going to uh, create a curve line let's understand the data densification how this is achieved so we'll open a new sheet so this is our data you see our data has two rows of data with the x y coordinates and uh, I will use to densify my data. I will use this additional data uh, with the range from 1 to 49. So let's join the data first. So I'll join this data together based on a join condition 1. Basically, I'm creating a Cartesian here. So for each record, it will create another extra record. So you should be may make sure when you're working with large data sets and if you want to draw something, make sure you aggregate it before uh, doing this uh, data densification. Otherwise, if you have a million records, you will have two million records and uh, vice, likewise. So now our data is prepared. So let's go to the sheet. If you see here, if I drag the X and Y axis, Tableau by default creates a straight line between these two data points. So what we want to do is uh, to understand the data densification concept. So first, to create a densified straight line, uh, let's uh, the first thing let's create our uh, create range bins for our range so that we densify our data points. So once we have this, if you see what happens is. You show missing values and if you drag a value here so the data values won't change but we have this densified points and with the help of table calculations say for example x we are using this table calculations to densify our data points so let's start with this. So now we have our range uh, bins. And uh, let's create a uh, function. So basically, uh, what I want to do is I want to create these additional points. I want to space this. Like, for example, I want to space the next uh, densification point should be at this place. So I will evenly place these densification points in case of uh, straight line densification so that I can connect the line dots and make a straight line so from 0 to 1 we are going where these different densification points so for that uh, to create a densification function let's create a densified x function so here I am just using uh, index function and divided it by divided by uh, over 49 densified points. So what it does is, if you drag this, and show missing values, it will return and change it to circles. So what's happening here is, uh, all our densified points are spaced evenly between 0 and 1. 0 and 1, okay. So so if you see here, all the intensified points will be placed between 0 and 1. So that's it. So we have our x uh, densified. To create a y densified. I'll uh, just duplicate this. And 
and rename it to y and since uh, in a straight uh, line uh, y is same as x so i just mention intensified x so it will compute it along range so now you have our straight line so all our densified points if you change it to line so all our densified points are connected from 0 to 1 via these densified points so we just want to see that intensified points duplicate this empty dual axis and change it to circles so here you have so likewise so this is what the concept of densification so since we want a curve line to connect from 0 to 1 so we have to change our uh, densified x and y functions so that it resembles a curve line so what exactly what we want to do is instead of putting this intensified point exactly uh, in a 45 angle we have to put these different all these densification points in a way that it resembles a curve to do that uh, let's create a new calculated function let's call it densified curve x and our function will be index index minus 25 divided by 4 so basically what i'm trying to do is uh, i want to draw the points between minus 6 and plus 6 so that we will have a smooth curve so line and then um, we create a densified curve y so here uh, we will use uh, a sigmoid function 1 over 1 plus exponential minus our densified curve x So all we have to do is just drag this densified curve x, remove this, our densified curve, then just compute using our uh, range. That's it. Now we have a smooth curve. So that's it. Uh, the use cases for uh, data densification is heavily used in Tableau if you are drawings. Say for example. If you see here, I have used uh, data densification, I have drawn curve lines over a map to show the number of uh, companies in each, each of these different regions in Scotland. We also use uh, data densification in Sankey. This is a thing called a Sankey chart. Sankey charts, dendrogram charts and a whole lot of uh, other uh, visuals if you want to do also please do check out uh, Flerlish Twins uh, uh, blog he has extensively uh, demonstrated how to how data densification works with different techniques uh, you can check out this link uh, it has all the details and thank you for watching uh, if you have the basics done for data densification uh, I will showcase in the next video about Sankey diagrams, how we use data densification in Sankey diagrams. Thank you very much.